just like that. And it's easy to pull back out because this isn't permanent. Let me elevate it here so you can see. So this staple's at an angle there. I hope you can see it. It's pretty, pretty, pretty hard to see. So you put them at an angle so you can remove it. Right now all we're doing is just getting stability. This might be a little hard for me because I have to keep it propped for you to see. You don't want your cotton to start to peel either. Okay. Pull that over where your V-cut is in the fabric. Angle your staple just like that. I didn't cut off the excess. I didn't see a need to. There's just a little bit left. As long as she has. Kind of hard to tell if we're right on, but I think we are. But we're going to do some adjustments in a moment. Just like that. Now, just for me to be able to do this a little easier, I've got to have it flat. But you see what I did? I anchored it in all corners there. Start from the longest end and then work your way out. Always start in the middle. So leave this one in here. And what I like to do is you pull up toward, I'm going up toward the ceiling and then back toward me just a little bit. And I like to put more staples in. Same thing obviously on this side. Like that. And I'm going to do it here as well. I'm pulling up like this. Like that. Pulling it in towards me over here, something pretty good. So I've got, these are not permanent. These are all anchor staples, like that. Now, I like to turn it this direction, okay, for me to work here. I am going to take this one out now. I am going to put one in over here. See, it's important too, friends, that you put this thing in there because if you're pulling too much on this side, and we only have this little bit of fabric, you're going to finish this whole thing and look over here, and you're off. Completely. Not only is it askew, but you don't have any more fabric. So this is a bit of a challenge. I mean, the, the minimum usually should be two and a half inches. That's the safest. You can obviously get away with an inch and a half. Uh, we have a half inch at best, but we are going to pull a little bit. So let me take this one out. So pull that. Take your hand. You can't beat the hand. It's great. Take your hand and pull it up smooth. I'm, you see, I hope I'm showing a good angle here. And then I'm coming back over it like that. And I am putting that one straight down. That one's right in there. So this one is now I'm going to grab the fabric here, pull it up, and then smooth it up like that. I'm trying to feel underneath the fabric. I hope you can see it well enough. I'm trying to see how it feels, how it looks. And I'm going up like this. Toward the end. I hope that's looking good to you. Try to keep the same distance. So here's my wood edge right here. I'm trying to keep the same distance where the fabric is cut. So, like that. Try not to do too, too many staples at once before. You might want to get excited and get this thing over with. But it's usually best don't do any more than four at a time. Make sure we're not pulling too much on this side. We're doing good. The anchor staple is coming out. And what you might see, as happens often, is you might see a pucker from the first one. That's that's kind of normal. And what I want to do is I want to see how it feels if I turn it away this way because I want to come up and back toward me. It's kind of awkward to do that coming toward me. If that makes any sense. I hope it does. You'll get the feel of it while you're doing it. Smoothing this over. I'm pulling up. I'm holding it down. Okay. I'm going to take this staple. I'm going to turn it around so you can see it. See, it's pulling a little bit too much right there. I don't like that. So I'm going to take out that one staple. Let me show you another trick too. Always go in toward the place you can hide. We're going to hide this with the dust cover. Don't go out. You could scrape it. I mean, excuse me. You could snag it, and you can get a snag right down your fabric. So if you get a good habit of it, that's great. Stick to it. I got to dig down a little bit. I'm pulling it up. And that was easy. You can do it with my fingertips. So you can kind of see that. Let that release go a little bit. 
we're going to pull this direction too. You see that? Pull that, side. that looks a little bit better. That looks pretty good. Now, I like to do the opposite side. Once again, flip it over. I take out the center staple, anchor staple. And I grab it, pull it up. So when I start with that, I can't help but put a pucker there usually because if you want to avoid the puckers, don't staple where you're pulling. You pull where you're not, you staple where you're not pulling, if that makes any sense. You see you have the tension, but you're not stapling right where your fingers are. But since I start in the middle, I gotta get to pull up, but I can't help but do that. So I'll show you what I'm talking about. See, I pulled that up with my hand. That's, that's feeling pretty good right there, right? All right, it looks pretty good. But I'm not gonna staple here, I'm gonna staple here. And that reduces that puck from look. And you're going to want to pull too. I'm trying to pull this out and then up. Okay. I'm going to come here, take this out. That cardboard's buckling a little bit underneath, but I think it's still going to work out. I tell you, everything's foundation. If the fabric was built well, I mean, the furniture was built well, in the beginning it means so much. It makes the job so much easier. If it was done somewhat shoddy, with cheap materials, it makes it a lot harder to reupholster, to make it look good. Right? So if you can find an older piece that was built well, that's excellent. Keep it. Okay. So now, see I feel this lump right, I'm not thrilled about that, I'm feeling something right there. It's that cardboard buckling on me. So, Alright, we're going to work here in the centers, and then we're going to come around the corners, and this is where we're going to start closing this thing up, okay? You want to make sure too. Let me double check. Make sure this fabric's getting taut enough on the top. Everything's looking good. I'm taking my hands as you can see and I'm rolling it down. Because you don't want it to pucker when the client sits on there. So I'm pulling a good amount here, okay? I'm going to do a couple angle staples just like that. Let's see how this is looking. Let's pull this one out. And flip it back over. See, that's a little too much. I don't like that. I don't want to pull that tight. So you got to make adjustments as you go along. I'll pull that down. Get a little less brutal on it. I'm going to straighten it. I like that. I'm going to take these out. Okay. I think that's going to look good. Make sure it's looking centered. Yeah. It's looking centered. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and take this one out. Grabbing the fabric, pulling up. I'm also pulling this away too. I don't know if you can tell with my right hand. And I'm pulling up with my left. Make that taunt and coming up with my hands there. Staple every five eighths inch, something like that, half inch. It'll be good. You can do less, you can do less as long as it looks good. It's not going anywhere. So I'm gonna grab this here with my fingers and pull. Coming I'm coming toward me and up. 